In years past, Maslin would receive 300 applicants for police officer positions. Now those numbers are way down, and the city says it's a struggle just to hire three cops. For now, Laris Bueno works as an eye doctor assistant, but that's not her true passion. I would like to be a police officer. Laris is in the police academy at Stark State College and hopes to land a job in May. I've always admired those who put their life on their line for the community. Uh, it's always been a passion of mine since I've been a little girl. But Massel and Sergeant Brian Muntean says finding good recruits like Laris gets harder each year. You know, there's a lot of people today, they're just, they're really, they're really afraid of police work. Muntean says recent high profile incidents can affect recruitment, like the two Willoughby officers shot at a car dealership, a Uniontown officer shot during a domestic violence call, and gunfire exchanged between a man with an assault rifle and cops in Norton. Instead of hundreds of applicants, Maslin has about 50 or 60, and about half of those failed background checks. You know, you start out with 50 or 60, you're only trying to hire three and it's hard to get three. Lila Smiley works at a Maslin family restaurant, which was broken into last year. They broke in to get money out of the cash register, broke in the glass of the main door and all that stuff. She's bothered that recruiting officers is becoming more difficult. That brings down the community. I mean, it makes the community uh, afraid. Muntean says he's talked with other departments with higher or lower crime rates, also struggling with recruitment. But Laris has no plans to give up on her dream. Keep in mind that you're doing it for the community. You're doing it to save people's lives. Maslin police say they push incentives to recruits like offering to pay for college. Still, answering the call to protect and serve is becoming more challenging. Challenging. In Massillon, Bob Jones, News 5.